fellow Diamond Painting Addicts and welcome back to Diamond Painting Anonymous. I'm Daphne and I'm here today to de-kit my Gothic Fancells uh, mosaic. So Gothic mosaic from Fancells. There we go. It's been a long day. Can you tell? Okay, so I am just going to grab some of these and start de-kitting. This was a round kit and so excited to finish this one because this means I can move on to other things. So working on my um, DP for pets canvas and going to be working on my summer with the masters canvas. And so, yeah, just excited to kind of finish up with this project and move on. Um, been looking at everybody's cool pictures for all the different events. This month is chock full of events. <laughs> I don't know why this month is quite so popular. If it's because it's school's out and everybody has a little more time or I'm not sure why. Is it just because it's summer so it feels like we should do more stuff to celebrate? I don't know. But there are tons of events going on. So I know several people who are working on multiple canvases to try and do all the things. Um, I don't know that I'm going to be that super ambitious. Uh, of course, doing DP for pets. Um, but, and I'm going to do Summer with the Masters. But I don't know if I'm going to get much more than that done. Um, I would like to do something for Pride Month, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to swing that. I don't even know if I have a canvas that would qualify in my stash. So that would mean I would need to get something else. And I could go look through my smaller ones, I guess, and see if I have anything that would be appropriate. I don't know if I even have anything that would work even in the small ones. So, but... Yeah, I would like to participate. So I hope you are having fun doing all of the things. Um, I'm actually feeling pretty good. Feeling good that school's out, kind of getting into my summer groove. And my son and I are, are back to walking. My, my, can't get this out of here. My knee is not back to where I want it to be, but it's at least better than it was. So that's something, I guess. And yeah, so just trying to, it has been so rainy here the last couple of days. In fact, we didn't walk a whole lot this week because it has rained so much that it's been kind of crazy. I, um... Just the amount of water we've had. It's not that it's been a lot of water necessarily. It's just that it has been constant. Um, you know, usually when it rains here, it'll rain a lot really quickly. Like we'll get a really big downpour, but not for very long. And, you know, usually it'll rain for a day, maybe two, and then we're done. It feels like it has done nothing but rain for the last two weeks. We'll get, you know, a, a one day of it being pretty dry and then the next day or the next couple of days is just another deluge and so it's been kind of crazy around here. We did manage to go for a walk for a couple of days this week, so happy about that. I'm going to have to stop saving 823s, I guess. That one's getting pretty full. Find where it goes. Okay. And then of course I need the one right behind it. 824. This kit had a lot of blues in it. Blues, grays, and purples. So it was this was actually one that I I definitely needed a light pad for. 
I tried doing it without, but it just got to the point where I was like, uh, I can't see anything <laughs> if I don't use the light board. I know a lot of people use them all the time. I try not to, which I just, I feel like the light board just accentuates for me when I get my drills crooked and then I spend more time fussing with them and trying to get them straight than I do diamond painting. So for me, using the light board sometimes actually means, means I diamond paint slower instead of faster. So I tried to avoid it, but there was a couple of times where I was like, okay, I can't, I can't see. I have to use it because I can't see what I'm doing. And I have a really good magnifying light that I use at my um, drafting table where I mostly diamond paint. And then I also have an overhead light that I turn on at the same time. So I should have pretty good light, but some days it just doesn't seem like enough. So, okay, 938. And then 939, I bet I have a lot of 939. Not so much of the 938. 939, yep, plenty of this. This was actually, I think, the color that I had the most of, both left over and in the canvas. Come on, get out of there. Gosh, they're being annoying today. So, let's see, where's 939 so I can put it back. Okay, peel my stickers off so I can get my kit ready for the next project. Okay, 950. I don't have very many of these, so that's good. I do like these cube containers for de-kitting because it does make it so much easier to just open them and pour when they've got these big wide open mouths. So, 96. Okay, and then I'm going to get into the... 3,000, so let me peel the stickers off of these. And whoops, that one's stuck. Pull these out. Okay, 3041. Ooh, I don't have very many of these either. I'm not sure if those are the same shade. Not really, but that's okay. Again, I if I feel like the drills are good enough to save, I'm not going to be overly concerned about um, dye lots because even the same company, depending on when the kit is from, like I have a lot of older Diamond Art Club kits, so some of the newer ones, the dye lots may not match, even though they're all Diamond Art Club, so... So I'm okay with that. Three, three, two, eight. Ooh, I don't have any of these, so that's good. Always like it when I find a color I don't have. Makes me feel better. So I know I'm not gonna run out of some colors. And saving up my round drills because if I would run out of anything, 3750 in, um, when I'm doing my, in September, when I'm doing my 30 by 30 challenge, definitely want to have enough on hand so that I could finish things and not have to wait to get a new kit or to get some replacement drills or something with some of those because it would take forever. 3768. Getting close here. Okay. Those all match. 37, 68, and then I'm in the 38s, 38, 57. Okay, that's my last row here of colors. 38, 57. I bet I don't have many of these either, these particular colors here at the back of the last DMC colors. 
3860. Pour so easy. Love, love, love these little cuby containers. So glad that I stumbled across these. Love, love, love them. Okay, 3861. Ooh, these are not the same color, I bet. Come on, get in there. Yeah, one's more like brown and one's got a, like a little purple mauve tint to it. And the last one, 3864. Okay. So there is the last drills. And then let me show you my trash which for the size of this kit is a 45 by 80 was not a whole lot of trash at all. And as always with me, some of my trash is, um, I maybe put it in the wrong spot and it got sticky. So I just threw it away or I, um, it was a stowaway in another color and I don't try and sort them out. Do have some trash. You can see there's lots of little, beady parts in here that not, did not turn into full form drills. I've got some with tabs on them. This one has like a little string on them, little chunky pieces, um, just, you know, misshapen ones, not fully formed ones. That one's got some stuff hanging on the edge. So does that one. This one has some stuff hanging on the edge. So, but not too terrible, especially considering, like I said, the size of the canvas. So these are going to go in my trash and put this away and I've got my container empty and ready to go for the next kit. So I'm going to put this away. I'm going to put my spare drills away and I will be right back to show you the finished canvas. So don't go anywhere. And this is the Gothic mosaic from fan cells. And you guys, I am so excited about how this one came out. It, it's an abstract, as you can see, and it has all these different colors in it. You've got some reds and whites and blues, and then you've got some kind of dark purples and some dark blues, some grays. Just, it looks like a lot of confetti and it was, not gonna lie, but there were also some sections where it was pretty easy to multi-place. So I actually had a lot of fun doing this, even though it was quite a bit of multi-placing. So this is, just to give you some details, it's a 45 by 80. And I'm gonna flip it around in a minute, but I put it this way for um, a reason. There were only 24 colors, which isn't really a lot considering the size of it. Um, and let's see, I started this on the 14th of May and I finished it on the 30th. So not too many days in there, but it did take a total of 33 hours and 18 minutes to finish it. So it wasn't a quick kit by any means, but I did really enjoy it. Now I will say I did have to use my light board for this one. Some of these where there's a darker, um, drills. There's actually a couple of different colors in there, sometimes two or three. And um, I just got to a point where I felt like I was missing too many things without the light board on. So I did turn on the light board for quite a lot of it. But it was really fun because I rotate my canvases while I'm working on them. So sometimes I would be working on it this way. Sometimes I would be working on it this way. And this is upside down and then I would turn it this way and it just looks like a completely different painting no matter which way you, you put it. Now this way is the way that the image is on the um, website. So I'm assuming this is the way that it's meant to be oriented. However, my husband and I kind of flipping it around and looking at all the different different ways decided that we would like it to be framed and hung like this. So again, that's not the way that it's oriented um, for the 
image, uh, how it is on the website, but this is the way that we like it the best. So uh, I'm going to kind of zoom you guys in a little bit closer and walk you through some of the, the particulars of the canvas. So don't go anywhere, I'll be right back. Okay, so you can see a little bit um, better the colors, I think, of all the different drills. Now, this is um, one of the newer style of kits where they print the image on and then put the symbols over top of it. So if you can see like right, right here, you can see some kind of black and other colors um, behind the drills, the lighter colored drills. That's because those shadows and everything are printed on the canvas first, and then they go through and you put on the drills. And so you get some of those background colors that don't come from the drills, they come from the image that's printed underneath the drills. So I think that actually adds a lot to it. You just get a lot more kind of interplay of, you know, the lights and the darks and the shadows and things than you would otherwise. So, um, yeah. And then you get some of these very kind of bright blues in here and up here at the top, uh, which was kind of funny because those blues are so bright when I would turn my light board on to make sure that I hadn't missed any drills. It would look like those drills were missing, but they're just such a, a light, bright color that they kind of got washed out using the light board. So I thought that was kind of funny. But really happy with the way this canvas turned out. It's so super sparkly. Um, just, you know, I think um, even though it's a round drill kit, I, I really am trying to see if I can get it to, well, maybe I'll just take the camera out of the stand and, and walk you guys around it a little bit. But anyway, I had a lot of fun doing this one. Um, like I said, even though it was only 24 colors, I think it turned out super well. So let me uh, grab you out of the uh, phone stand, the camera stand, and I will kind of take you around the canvas while I'm walking. So don't go anywhere. So you can see, at least I hope you can right there, kind of where some of those um, dark symbols are behind the canvas. So like right in here, you can see some black behind there. That's from the image being printed on there, but obviously not from the drill. So I really think it adds a lot to the image. And like I said, I just, I really like how the image itself turned out. I love all of the kind of very nice circular flow of it. And the fact that it is, you know, this abstract, we all know I love my abstracts. Um, anything that's kind of geometric like this, I love. So let me zoom out here so you can see the whole thing. Let me get my phone or my microphone cord out of the way. And yeah, it just turned out super well. I'm super happy with it. If you like this video, guys, before you leave, don't forget to do all the things. Give it a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot. Hit that subscribe button. That helps me out even more. And hit that bell notification icon so that you can be informed of future uploads. And as always, guys, thanks so much for watching.